the library. Now finished. So, yes, I am happy with it. There's the bookcase my husband brought home for me. Makes me happy that he got me another one. So now I don't have to put anything on top that I don't want to, except for these little classic books for my grandson. And then I've got my first editions up here. Those will be showcased somewhere else once I get the rest of them. So that's it guys. That's There it is all organized and back to being a library again. Katie, welcome back to the bookworms, buddy. So you saw the um, the end result of the reorganization, and I am completely happy with it. It was very frustrating. It was overwhelming at times, but perseverance paid off. Thankfully, I had my daughter help me, um, and it moved along a lot quicker than had I been doing it by myself. So now we move on to the unhaul. I've got two huge library bags full of books that I am unhauling. So I'm gonna try to go through this quick, no explanation to what the books are about because, you know. Anyway, so this one my sister brought me. It's called Lucky Street by Carly Phillips. I have no idea. This one I thought I wanted the series because I found this one on sale. This is Sweet Little Lies. Um, it's the L.A. Candy no novel by Lauren Conrad. Um, this one is called Curse of the, da of the Dawn. And I know it's probably part of a series by Karen Chance. Grey Matter by Gary Braver. I've had this book for like three years, and I've still not read it. Haunted by Meg Cabot. It's part of a series. I think this is this is way deep into the series, and I don't want to buy all those books. I've got these three that I got on the sales rack by Preston and Child. Brimstone, The Cabinet of Curiosities. Still Life with Crows. I read this one. I loved the story. Hate the detective. If I don't want the, the, the protagonist in the book, it the book's just not um, good for me. And the reason why is because he's one of those perfect characters, and I just, I can't handle perfect character. I know I'm being picky, but. Okay, so I've got Dance of the Gods by Noah Roberts. This is part of a huge series. I don't want to go buy all the books. Night Tales, also by Nora Roberts. Um, also part of a series. This, uh, this one's Nightshade and Night Smoke. Don't want to buy all those. Cold Truth by Joe Goldman. Um, this is a, a lawyer kind of story. Don't want to read that. Edge of Danger by Jack Higgins. Again, political. Jonathan Kellerman, Bad Love. This one I actually have in paperback, so I am unhauling the hardback. James Patterson, Sale, Lifeguard, You've Been Warned. Hey, they're not part of the Women's Murder Club or the Alex Cross series, so I don't want them anymore. Uh, this is called The Basement by Barry Wood. This was one of my mom's old books. Just no interest. Uh, this one my sister brought me, Angel or Blood of Angels. It's an ARC copy by Reed Arvin. I won this one, The Finisher, um, David Baldacci. Baldacci, I don't know how you say his name. Sorry, guys. I won this one on a Goodreads giveaway. I've had it for two years. Still haven't read the book. Next ones we got here is a couple of Catherine Coulter books. They're FBI thrillers, and yeah, I'm uh, I think they're parts of series or whatever. I just don't want to start new mystery writers right now. I will always love you. It's a gossip girl novel. My sister brought it for me. No interest. 
Let Me In by John Linquivist. I did read this book. I did not like it. only rated it two stars. So, bye-bye. And for the second bag, these are a couple of Kathy Reich books from the Bones Trilogy. Um, or Bones Trilogy. The Bones series. It's a big series. Yeah, Temperance Brennan. And I thought I might want to get the series, and it's a long series, and I just don't want to spend the money on it. Faye Kellerman Stalker, No Desire. I've had this for like three years. I haven't read it yet. So you want to be a wizard. I thought I wanted a new wizard series. This is a middle grade um, wizard city, uh, series. It's a, This is book one. But I've had it for so long, and I've just not read it yet. Um, Catering to Nobody by Di Diane Mott Davidson. Death of a Kitchen Diva by Lee Hollis. My sister brought me all these J.A. Jantz books, and I thought I was going to get to them. But again, I don't want to put all the money out for the book. So, um, we got Trial by Fire, Edge of Evil, Left for Dead. Um, Deadly Stakes, Damage Control. And that's it on the J.A. Jantz. I'm just not looking for new mystery writers right now. Um, I got plenty on my shelves to read, so yeah. I've had these books since last year, almost a year, and I've not picked them up yet, so what are you going to do? No, my sister brought me these three books. Um, these are Rex Grave Mysteries, and these are two, three, and four out of a pretty long series and I just don't I don't want to buy the books for these if I don't know if I'm going to read them um, this one is called the second virgin birth by Tommy Taylor I tried to read this book could not get into it the author approached me um, to review this book and I just I I couldn't get into the story Oh, I just found another one of the uh, Kathy Reich's books. So I had three of the Kathy Reich's books. Um, Circumstances Unknown by Joe Ellen Hecker. Had this book for about three years. Have not picked it up yet. Dreams of Ada by Robert Mayer. Again, a couple of years. Haven't picked it up. This one is Silence by Danny Petrie. This was a review book. I read the book, I reviewed it, but it was like book four in the series. I'm not going to buy the rest of the series, so, yeah. Then we got Vicki Pedersen, Taste of Night and The Scent of Shadows. It's um, one and two of the second sign, or the sign of the Zodiac. Had these for like three years, still haven't read them, probably won't. Lost interest, I guess. Okay, this one is called This Is Not a Game by Walter John Williams. I did try to read this book and I just couldn't get into it. It's a science fiction, fantasy kind of thing. Yeah, it didn't work for me. This one is With Their Eyes by Annie Thomas. I thought this was going to be a really good book. I found this one at our used bookstore. I read the book and I just thought it was okay, so I'm not going to reread it. And the last one here was for World Book Night that I gave out. Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet. I never read the book. Um, and I'm probably not going to read the book. So, yeah. That's my unhaul, guys. This is like 50 books, I guess. Somewhere in there, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, so, yeah. These are not going back on my shelves. And I will figure out what to do with them. That's it, guys. Thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.